Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to take a look at the AdBlue system, or also known as the SCR, Selective Catalytic Reduction System. So the AdBlue system is designed to reduce the levels of NOx emissions in the exhaust gases. NOx is also referred to as nitrogen oxide, which is a combination of nitric oxide and nitrogen dioxide. NOx is produced when nitrogen and oxygen are bonded or formed together, which is a kind of byproduct of the combustion process. Uh, this happens under high pressures and high temperatures in the combustion chamber. To reduce the levels of NOx emissions, a NOx oxidation catalyst uh, is used, as well as the AdBlue system. On most modern engines with an AdBlue system, they have two catalysts which are placed as close to the engine as possible. The top one here is the NOx oxidation catalyst and the lower one is the diesel particulate filter with selective catalytic reduction or SCR. In this diagram we can also see the AdBlue fluid injector which on this engine is water cooled due to it being so close to the engine and the higher temperatures. At low exhaust temperatures NOx emissions are stored in the oxidation catalyst until a regeneration process takes place with a rich fuel mixture. The nitrogen oxide is chemically changed to nitrogen or N2. At higher exhaust temperatures more NOx is produced than the oxidation catalyst can convert. This is where the AdBlue fluid is added. The fluid reacts with the NOx emissions to further break them down into nitrogen and water. In the DPF catalyst the soot particles are stored which are later burned off to ensure cleaner exhaust emissions. The NOx sensor measures the nitrogen oxide content. It's located before the oxidation catalytic converter. The NOx sensor measures the nitrogen oxide content in the exhaust gases before the nitrogen oxides are reduced. The AdBlue fluid is injected and carried away by the exhaust gas flow. It's evenly distributed by the mixer. The exhaust gas temperature causes the AdBlue to generate ammonia, NH3. The exhaust gas, now enriched with ammonia, is routed to the particulate filter with SCR. The ammonia causes the nitrogen oxide to be separated into nitrogen and water. It's mainly the nitrogen oxide NO and NO2 which are reduced. That's why this technology is called selective catalytic reduction. Ammonia is needed for the chemical reaction this is injected in a form of a solution of urea and water. This is referred to as AdBlue or DEF, diesel exhaust fluid. The fluid is deionized water with 32.5% urea solution. It's mixed at this percentage to give it its lowest freezing point, which is minus 11 degrees centigrade. There are some misconceptions that pig's wee is used, but in actual fact, it's made by exposing synthetic ammonia and carbon dioxide to heat. So no pigs were harmed in the making. The AdBlue fluid has its own tank and isn't mixed with the diesel fuel. The AdBlue tank is generally fitted at the rear of the vehicle and can sometimes take the space of the spare wheel well. The tank capacity can vary from 10 to 25 litres, dependent on the vehicle. A non-return valve stops the fluid flowing back up the fuller neck. An ultrasonic sensor measures and monitors the add blue level in the tank. The ultrasonic waves spread to the surface where they are reflected back to the sensor. The ultrasonic sensor continually detects the exact fluid level.
At temperatures below minus 11 degrees centigrade, add blue fluid will freeze. A PTC heater is fitted to the tank and this is to thaw the liquid once the engine is started. The pump is located within the delivery module. It consists of two pumps, one for delivering the fluid to the injector and another for returning the fluid to the tank. The pump delivers the fluid from the tank to the injector via a heated line. On some vehicles the injector is air cooled, in this example it's water cooled by the engine coolant system because it sits closer to the engine and operates at a much higher temperature. When the engine is switched off the AdBlue flow will be reversed by the return pump. This prevents the AdBlue fluid from freezing in the line at low temperatures. The engine control unit controls both pumps and monitors the system pressure. This is done by monitoring the pump's power consumption. The pressure inside the line is approximately 5 bar. Some vehicles also use an ammonia trap, which is located behind the exhaust filters. It has two functions. One is to convert the carbon monoxide into carbon dioxide. The carbon monoxide is produced by the particulate filter regeneration. The conversion is carried out by the precious metal coatings within the catalyst. The other function is to convert the surplus ammonia into water and nitrogen. Well, that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe for more automotive technology videos and how-to guides.